Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, new project starting on the car now, um, the AMG track car. Um, I'm going to be in an AIM power distribution, distribution module with a 10 inch screen display to go with the AIM smart cam I've already been using. Um, so a PDM is a solid state device that um, outputs the voltage straight to a consumer, i.e. fan, fuel pump, lights, etc. Um, and it doesn't need any fuses and relays enabled to do that, to switch on and off the device. So it's uh, it reduces a lot of the wiring in the car. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna I'm starting. To, I haven't got the PDM yet. It's on back order. Should get it within a week or so. Hopefully, in from today's video. But you know, <laughs> it'll be in a video. Obviously, hopefully next time. Anyway, I'm starting to get set up here. So I'm do, I've already done a, a lot of the wiring out of the car um, when I got rid of the central lock and so on. But anyway, um, here's my setup. I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so there's a mock-up for the display 10-inch screen. This is also already the PDM. Uh, 10 bracket on a bit of cardboard but it's you know it's a size display that's going to be TIG welded on the steering shaft about there once I get a dash in I'll be able to line it up a bit better but that's where a 10 inch display will go uh, here's a mock-up for the PDM that's about how big it is and it's going to go on the center tunnel round about there um, I'm going to put some aluminium sheet off the tunnel with some cooling going to it and then that allows me to get rid of the light control module. Um, a lot of this wiring will go as well because it'll be direct um, wires. And then this big loom up here, you can see that, yeah, it will all go. This light switch will go. Um, the ignition switch I'll keep, um, just have to rewire that to make it switch on and off the PDM, but I like to keep my factory key if I can. Um, I am also gonna keep the factory ECU. Um, the good news is that PDM will communicate to the ECU through K-Line which is an old version of, of CAN. So I'll get my throttle RPM corn temps pick up from the uh, from the C, which is good news. Okay, so the first job with this PDM is to start from uh, back to front. So I'm gonna start with the rear lights. Um, so yeah, here's the rear light cluster. Um, say this typical to a two rear bulb holder. So it's got two side lights, indicator, rear fog and reverse. Um, so I'll show you those now with my power probe. So I'm going to wire, this is the rear fog, both side lights. So I'm going, to, I'm going to wire them both into one input. Got my brake light. Indicator will obviously be on a separate circuit. So yeah, so these two, which is a grain white wire, grain white wire, will go into one of these pins. So I'm going to use one of these three-way Deutsch connectors. So I'll have uh, in one of the pins, reverse side and brake indicate and fog and go off separately okay let's crack on side light brake light reverse I'm just going to put on these deutscht pins then go straight into the connector I love these they're just a great connection solid there you go and then put the one of the wedges in there and that'll be locked up all right click on the other side i'll show it's all finished okay that wine's all done so both lights are going into this connector now um so yeah we'll see these bond shots are the indicators left right earths and fog so that can go back there and the other side of that pin will go straight into the pdm okay let's start on the front lights okay so this is the engine bay side of the harness for the pdm this is the front lights horn and window washer so i've given a clean up um a bit of resolving to do on the connectors uh, any wooden season as that's fairly common. Um, there it is there, so the indicator needs to be resold in. Anyway, so that's going to go through the bulkhead. I'm using one of these circular connectors to go through um, by Deutsch. I can make a hole about there. So, yeah. Uh, the only NGB harness left is this uh, harness for the um, oxygen sensors going down to the ECU. The ECU is all covered up, the wires are all covered up, 
EC is going to go inside under the dash as well. So it will come through. So the PDM will go there and then around sort of there that make a hole there for the circular connector for the wires to come through. Um, right, let's crack on. Okay, so that's the engine bay loom all done. Um, can wait to fill up when the PDM arrives. Um, but in the meantime, let's do some work inside the car. So, going to strip out some of these wires so I can get rid of the um, light switch, the light control module. Um, there's a bolt for bolt failure and so on, um, and some other wires and bits of bobs. And then, also, ultimately, the idea is to get rid, could be we get get rid of the fuse box over there. Okay, guys, let's crack on. One big hole where the fuse box used to go. They're going to cover up with a nice plate. Um, so there's your relay box again. Don't need to know more. There's your fuse box cover. A fuse box. Um, I'll keep that so I can create the amperages for the PDM to, to power the lights and so on. Um, and then the next thing we'll figure out is the wiper. This is the um, you know, wiper mode feed. So one is full speed, half speed signal for park and a nerf. This will go through the same bulkhead connector that I've made for the PDM. Um, once I've got this bulkhead cleaned up, I'm gonna I'll paint it all nice, seal off any holes and stuff that I've drilled previously, and then paint it, uh, and then um, go over with some heat reflective gold stuff. Okay, it's just uh, beginning to, well, halfway through getting the ECU inside the car. So it would have been a big box here with the ECU that was carried. That's gonna go inside the car. Um, the main ECU harness, I'm gonna cut a hole here somewhere. I can make a nice plate up here, cut a hole, and then use a grommet just to go through the bulkhead. And then the ECU will go inside the car. And it will sit there somewhere. There's a little wine coming through. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get rid of that and um, plate that hole up and have the ECU inside the car. And then the PDM is going to go here and it arrives. Okay, so while I wait for the PDM to arrive, I'm going to get the ECU inside the car. So there's the factory ECU. Um, and it's going to go kind of there somewhere. And um, that was the old hole where the wires came through for the ECU because it's in the engine bay. So it's going to kind of go oh, kind of there somewhere. There's a throttle control there. And they're going to drill a hole just about there somewhere so the wires can come through. Let's get the hole drilled. Okay, so that's a grommet on for the uh, bulkhead pass through for the engine loom. That was a pain to get over there. Anyway, uh, going to make a hole about here. So let's get drilling. Uh, pilot hole first and then the hole saw. So that's a hole cut. Let's give it a bit of a fire up. Okay, that's one engine bay wine highs through the uh, bulkhead now. I use Haltech grommets, Do you know they're really good, um, worked really well. Uh, so happy with that. I'm going to obviously seal this up with some heat shrink and so on to sort the water getting in, but happy with that. Still enough flexibility there. Um, the engine doesn't move much anyway, but no flexibility there to um, not create any wire problems going down the road. And then, so here we are inside. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, the EC will go about there somewhere. Um, I'll make a bracket up for it. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got a big bunch of wires sorted out for inside here. Yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, that's the EC all mounted, nice and secure in the corner there. Um, Why is the engine going through the bulkhead? Now it's time to sort out the interior loom um, to go to the sort of the fuse box over there to keep the ignition switch working. So there's the rest of the limb I've got to sort out. Um, gonna keep the Dynatic socket, which will feed information to the PDM via can. Right, they get it sorted out, knitted up, and connect it back up again. Okay, just show what I'm doing here. So this is one of the wires goes deep OBD socket from the ECU. Uh, this one here. And there's the other end. So these one is butt connectors. Uh, that's gonna join together. So um, I was using the I was using the Wi-Fi um, crimp tool, the ratchet one, to do the bigger butt connectors. But these um, 20 gauge, 22 gauge ones are a bit smaller. So I'm using the smallest die on these open barrel crimp connectors, which is the 20 to 24. You can see the bottom there. 
how small it is. And that's actually making a really good tight crimp on the end of these connectors. You can see that there. But yeah, that is that is a super good crimp. That is not coming out of there from nothing. There you go, one solid crimp. Oh, um, okay, so get ready for the PDM install. I just want to run through some of the tools and connectors I'm using to you know join wires together to um, get wires joined and, and make connections and so on. So here's some of the tools and stuff I'm using. Um, I've also got my cutters there in the car. Yes, a good quality set of side cutters is, is obviously what you need to cut some wires. Um, so let's go through some, some connections here. Um, so these are the Wi-Fi uh, butt connectors I've got off of Amazon. Um, good quality stuff. These are tin copper. And these are what I used to join, join two wires together, uninsulated. I find it easy to crimp using the uh, Wi-Fi crimper tool. So I find them easy to crimp and they make a solid connection. And then once you've done those, just pour a bit of heat shrink over the top. And that is going to be one solid connection. So that's what I like to use to, to join two wires together. Um, yeah, just find it works really well. You can get the insulated connectors. I don't like them. Um, when they go in the crimper, they don't tend to, I don't feel, I don't feel they're crimped as solidly as these do. So to join two wires together, I do recommend these um, non-insulated butt connectors. And then to make connect, to actually make a connector, I'm using the Deutsch uh, DT series connectors. Um, also use, we'll be using DT, uh, P connectors when I connect um, the fan and the, the fuel pump which takes a bit of high amperage but the rest of the car will be using these again um, you get your pins your male and females uh, they're going to receptacles uh, and you know the other end I don't know what it's called <laughs> and they just make a connection so yeah Deutsch uh, connectors are fantastic and then the oval connector, which is the, the you know, the, it's the same pins as these do. It was, all, the family all share the same pins. Um, so it's just really good, really easy to use. And then the th thing I like about them is they're versatile. If you make an error or you want to change it out, you can take the pins out uh, and you can use another connector or you can, you know, change it how you like. So they're really versatile. And then you'd have to use, these are the DT um, crimpers. They're slightly bigger for the DTP, which is obviously, which is obviously a bigger pin. Uh, DTM, I don't really use. Um, I think I've got on the corn temp sensor, but that's about it. A uh, good quality set of wire strippers is a Stanley. Um, little depth gauge there, so you can measure how much wire take off. Do a great job. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Ready? Here we go. Yeah! Starts. No fires. No fires. Morning, guys. It's a wet, rainy day here in London, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so yeah, today the PDM is going to arrive. It's a Friday today, um, so uh, should be here probably about mid afternoon. So while I'm waiting for that, I've got some wires tied up. Let me show you what's going on. So um, as you saw in the last clip, <laughs> um, the engine was running, uh, which is you know. Made really happy, obviously, you know, taking this ECU wiring apart and putting it back together again was a bit scary, but nevertheless, the car runs fine. Um, so there's a lot of wiring here to sort of clean up, tidy up. I'm gonna do all that. Um, this is the remainder of the fuse box, uh, there's not many fuses left in there. Um, so I need to sort out what I can keep, what I can, what I can get rid of. I want to try and get rid of the whole fuse box now. There were a few connections here. This, these two main big wires are uh, uh, ignition in, ignition out. Um, from the ignition switch. I want to keep the ignition switch and I want to keep the OBD socket, the old Mercedes 32 pin, because that will feed ECU data to the PDM, PDM when it arrives. It's my fake PDM. <laughs> the PDM will go about there on the transmission tunnel, um, on a plate of aluminium off the tunnel, and then it have some air cooling going to it. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to crack on and start sorting some of this wiring out and then hopefully try and get rid of the fuse box. Okay, so the box is plugged in. Um, Dino six, Dino six up and running, and yeah, it's giving me the right information on the screen. So I've got my stuff like my coolant temperature there, um, engine speed, uh, which all works, and then obviously you see the foot one moving. Um, so yeah, it's all working, it's all good. So yeah, good, good comms. So I said that will communicate to the PDM when it arrives and feeds stuff like RPM, coolant temp, so on. But yeah, it's all good. Okay, so just try and get rid of this fuse box here. 
Uh, these two wires here are for the ignition switch to come on off. So I'll just put a fuse on that there. So that's got rid of that fuse. And this is, is ignition, um, permanent 12 ignition, uh, 12 volt ignition feed. So that means that fuse box can go now. So I don't need that no more. Which is good. Uh, so we're left with this now. Um, so there's a couple of permanent 12 volts going in from the main feed. Um, so what I'm going to try and do then is get the ignition feed from the ignition into this fuse box and then connect it to the 12 volt feed out. So then I would have to bypass this, this K6 really completely. So then we'll be left then where the PDM will be in its place. And then uh, keep the little fuse box for the ECU, which controls ignition starter coil um, and injectors and then the ECU itself. But I will power the fan and the starter motor and the fuel pump through the PDM when it comes. But for now, I get rid of this bit first. Okay, so I found the bypass. This is the um, feed straight from the ignition switch, which is pin one there. And that goes down and that feeds the ignition power to the fuse box. And then this second one here is is uh, feed, 12 volt feed out. And that's why it goes here, which feeds this fuse box, which feeds the ECU power. So I'm gonna basically connect those two together like that. Um, because I don't think they're fused. Um, there's, there's no fuses left in there, so they're definitely not fused. So it just goes uh, ignition power in and out. So we'll keep there. these wires in case this goes wrong and draw them back up again, but it should be okay. And I've got that one about there. So yeah, it looks like this fuse box, this fuse box is gonna go, which is the main name of this really. Um, again, I may be able to feed uh, this all from the PDM, but I'm doing it bit by bit. I think something like this, you should do it bit by bit. Um, just know where you are. That's how I work anyway. Don't think that's enough. A bit more on there. Enough wire color. So we'll try that to switch that together. That's a good butt connector. So that, when that's on there, that's going to be a solid connection, butt connector. I mean, absolutely solid. Crimped. Okay. So this is the, the feed wire, this one here. Yep, we got 12 volts. Good. Okay. Let's see if she starts. Control. Good, she's running. Okay. Get rid of this connector now, and the box should be gone. Cool. Back in a minute. Okay, so yes, that fuse box is all gone, no more needed. Um, get rid of these wires, don't need these. So what it is then on the Mercedes is the, we'll go on there, so ignition off event, first position, the yellow and uh, pink grey wire, yellow, yellow, and, which is wire, sorry, yellow and pink wire, these big thick ones, are first position ignition live. Um, these two are permanent feeding and then this one is ignition on live which is stick position two which empowers everything over here um so again when i get the pdm and um, this few fuse box may be gone as well i'm not sure yet but for now i've got rid of this big fuse box there's some more stuff over, and all this over here as well we've got, we've got rid of um so yeah looking good looking good Okay, right, well the ECU has been relocated under the dashboard um, in this new home, ready to go. So that's all done. Um, OBD socket is there. There's the transverse control unit I still need to keep for now. But yeah, it's looking all good. Um, pleased with that. And I hope the ECU is happy in this new home. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a the power wiring for the going up to ignition switch. So guys, thank you for joining me in part one. Join me in part two, we'll be starting to fill up the PDM. Again, it's in control of the car. And yeah, looking forward to that. So cheers, guys. Please subscribe and I'll see you in part two.